Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. In this Tips and Tricks, I just wanted to show you something new to Showcase 2013, which is the blurred reflection, which was added to the Showcase materials. If you're planning on to create your own Showcase material, there's something new that you might want to think about adding to the material itself. So let's create a generic material, a Showcase material generic to start with, and I'm going to apply it to the car, the two balls, and the box that is sitting next to my car. Now, if I open the properties of this material, you'll notice under the reflectivity and highlight, there's an area that's called enable blurred reflection and refraction. Right now, it's turned to zero, zero. So if I look at the reflection in a car, you'll notice that the uh, environment reflection are quite sharp. So almost like a mirror. So I could see exactly um, how this environment looked like in a reflection of the material on my car. Now look at what happened if I start playing it with the blur reflection slider and increase the number of blur reflection, you'll notice that the reflection, look at the house in the reflection of my car, it starts to be blurry and suddenly this reflection is now smooth and blurred. So it gives me a different feeling of the material. So depending on what you're looking for, you can have a full blurred reflection, which gives you a different look of your metal, or you can have a slight blurriness or no, no blur at all, uh, which gives you some sort of a mirror reflection. So let's focus on these two balls here where I will compare one uh, type of blurriness to the other one. So in the first ball, I'm going to keep the sharp reflection and the other one, I'm going to add some blurriness. So I have now created two different type of material and I'm going to open up the, uh, the material property and I'm going to add some a blurriness in my reflection here. So if you have a look here, what I've done is that in the uh, highlights, I have increased the surface blurriness into a certain uh, amount. Now, as you see, if I play with the uh, slider here, you see the difference happening in those two balls. The one in the front has no blurriness and a reflection, and the one in the back, I'm adjusting the blurriness as we speak, and you can see and compare the two different effects that it's creating on the material. So exact same material, and the only change that I'm doing right now is adding a blurriness in the reflection. So let's look around a little bit. Let's focus on the square here on the cube and apply the same material than the big ball, which has the blur reflection on it. And now if I play with the, the uh, slider, you'll see that it affects the square in a different way because the square is uh, a planar object and not a round object, but you can still see that the uh, background is being reflected and blurred at the same time when I'm adjusting these uh, presets, but it reacts acts a little bit different than on a ball. So obviously, depending on the nature of your object, this blurriness value will affect the look of the material in a different way. You've, so it all depends on how the um, object that you have applied the material on is reflecting this environment. Obviously, if I would change my environment, this reflection would be totally different. So it depends on what you're reflecting as well. But adding blurriness to your reflection is a nice addition for this year's showcase to 2013 and something to think about when you're building your custom materials.